How do you intimately get to know something that is normally swept away without a second thought? What happens to the leftovers, the remnants, the cast-offs from the main event? Through laborious processes of dyeing, weaving, and forming clay, Erica Tewilliger's installation Second Stomach investigates the evolving relationship between tool and maker, utility and value. For months, Tewilliger sorted, recorded, weighed, dried, and stored all her food waste. Every week, she would turn her stockpile into pigments, carefully bathing wool and yarn using a stovetop dyeing method. Each weaving seen here is proportional to a week's worth of collected compost, resulting in pieces both large and small, depending on Tewilliger's daily dining habits. Upon close inspection, Tewilliger's weavings are speckled with bright red threaded dots, a marker of where dye from one type of food waste ends and another begins. In the process of making the weavings, Tewilliger was tasked with disposing gallons of dye waste. But pouring this liquid down the drain didn't sit right with her. She asked herself, what if our pipes had a way of recording what passes through them? Like the human body, the clay body Twilliger uses is porous, absorbing and releasing moisture again and again, eroding a little more each time. As liquid slowly passed through these bottomless vessels, it formed a kind of geologic strata along each form, a record of movement and pause. What normally is washed away becomes a series of paintings on the floor, shadows of the original compost. Like water that travels across the Earth's surface, moving and shaping materials from here to there, Tewilliger is simultaneously making and unmaking, building and destroying. In Tewilliger's own words, quote, I want to care for these things, but in a way that eventually wears them into nothing. I want to create systems that tow the line of absurdity, but still know when it's time to shed their lining. <laughs>